this is inverted vitrectomy. Managing severe diabetic retinopathy with aporetinal fibrous tissue and tractional retinal detachment. The patient is pseudophagic. This is a 23-gauge parasplenum vitrectomy. There are numerous new vessels covered by dense preretinal bleeding together with fibrous tissue on the macular surface. A backflush cannula is used to remove blood passively. The light pipe helps with blood aspiration bringing small clots to the backflush cannula tip. Raising intraocular pressure helps in controlling bleeding at this time. The smaller 25 gauge tip cannula is oftentimes safer and avoids pulling on the retina. Epiretinal tissue and membranes are now visualized. By applying the right and controlled forces, you will be able to remove them, freeing up the retina, counteracting traction. By zooming in on retina, it is possible to get a closer view and better appreciate a peripheral detachment and traction with dense fibrous tissue. Endocultory is uh, now used. Of course, you gotta choose uh, the right places and avoid the main vessels and uh, be very gentle in this maneuver. This nasal bleeding new vessel deserves attention. It is always important to feel the retina when you touch it. Perforal carbon liquid is now used. Perforal carbon liquid comes with a fourfold purpose to halt leaking vessels, to stabilize the retina, to avoid uh, retinal rotation since uh, it is uh, tractionally detached, and to create a media for good laser intake while acting mechanically pushing retina downwards. So you should inject perforal carbon liquid up to the aura serrata so as to cover all macula and peripheral retina. It is time now for lasering the retina with uh, pump photocoagulation. Try avoiding bleeding areas. Keep half laser spot spacing evenly all over the retina. Do not go too close to the retina. Have a good intake so laser will be effective. Retina is flat enough for laser in detached areas should be covered also with uh, barrier spots. As you see here, keep the macula free and go concentrically to do as much laser possible. It is time now to remove perforal carbon liquid together with a nerve fluid exchange. The retina remains attached and no more vessels bleed. I appreciate your attention.